Are you ready to skyrocket your print-on-demand profits in 2025? Let's dive into how you can use my designs to easily publish multi-product listings. So as you can see, I'm inside of a collection here on my designs and I've got just five designs here of uh, camping designs that I'm going to be using as an example here. So there's a few things I want to point out. If you don't know how to create a collection, all you have to do is click this home button at the top and click add folder. Um, and then if you don't have a shop connected to your my designs account, you can easily do that by going to the top right corner here and clicking this gear icon and then you'll see under seller here there's shops so you can see we already have an Etsy Shopify and a WooCommerce store connected but if you don't have one connected all you have to do is click the button here so if, if Etsy was your shop you're trying to connect you would just click connect Etsy and then you would click connect again once you push this uh, second connect button it's gonna pull up a new window that uh, has your Etsy shop so we're gonna just go back here or excuse me back to listings and then whenever we're working with multiple designs at a single time which we are um, you can see we're working with five designs here or five listings rather we need to make sure that we select them all and we can do that by clicking the button there or you can individually select them by clicking there um, as you can see we do not have any data here so I do want to show you how you can use our um, feature called the vision AI and you can search it here or you can just click it on the left men or excuse me left menu here so I'm gonna go ahead and just select vision AI um, the input file is the file that our AI reads and what vision AI does is gives you highly optimized title tags and description for your listing based off of just scan scanning an image um, so then we want to go to the next um, step here which is select your product type we have this set to t-shirt but we're going to be doing a multi-product listing and on this multi-product listing um, for this example at least I'm going to use a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and I believe the sweatshirt is a Gildan 18,000 the um, t-shirt is going to be a Bella 3001 now the platform we're doing this for is Etsy uh, the model I'm going to leave is our newest model and then I'm going to leave title description and tag selected that means we want them to generate all three of those for us um, and then this part is important if we're doing a multi-product listing I'm going to select custom instructions and I'm going to go ahead and say this is a multi-product listing that includes a Bella 3001 t-shirt and a Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt and then I'm going to go ahead and just click or leave the writing mode to overwrite all of our fields are empty so this doesn't really matter as much here I'm going to go ahead and click just making sure those are right and then I'm going to go ahead and select um, generate listing data and then yes run vision AI and this will take just a second while that uh, generates the data I'll go ahead and explain what these are this is file slots so basically it stores our print files our mock-ups videos anything that we really want here and we can name them whatever we would like them to be as well um, I have my template set up this way if you want to make changes to yours you can do it there um, but we have other videos on that so you can see now all of our data is generated for these five listings and I like to tell people vision AI gets you about 90% of the way there but you always want to make sure that you make some changes um, add any keywords that you'd like to and then for this example you can see it did get the Gildan sweatshirt um, and then the Bella 3001 it doesn't have 3001 but unisex Bella works there so it did a pretty good job this one did include Bella 3001 um, but that was from our special or excuse me custom instructions so we can generate mock-ups ahead of time before we go through our publishing process if we would like to by clicking the mock-ups button here and then going to image mock-ups and you'll see a huge library of products but I'm not gonna do it ahead of time I want to show you how you can actually just do it during the publishing process so that's what I'm gonna do next is go to the the publishing step uh, process excuse me and we're gonna go under print on demand and select Etsy now right here we're gonna just search for a Bella 3001 which is here it's a unisex t-shirt and then this is where you choose your print partner and I'm gonna just go ahead and select my designs as this example 
and you'll see we have a generic mock-up made here. Um, obviously, we're going to add some more. I'll go through through what this um, menu entails. So you can see here we have our Bella 3001 product. Um, if we want to add additional ones, this is how we will do it, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Next is our print areas. Um, there's a front and back print area supported for this. We're just going to do the front. And then this is our print file. So you can see we can change the file slot if we want, but we're gonna leave it as that main file. And I'm gonna actually show you how you can make adjustments right here on the fly to your print file. If we click that canvas button, you'll see this is our print file. For me, that's a little bit too big. I like mine to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm also gonna leave just a little bit of padding on the top there. Um, but if you remember, we were working with multiple files at once or listings at once. So we have five listings and you can see our other listings are down here and they haven't adjusted right to what we, the changes we made here. So once we make changes on one, we can just click onto it, right click and click sync. And now you'll see it adjusted all of our other print files to be the same size with the same padding percentage at the top as well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And now that updated all of my print files for all of those listings. Next, we wanna go here and select sizes. I'm just gonna leave them all selected. If you didn't want, um, for instance, a 3XL, you could um, deselect it there. And then we're gonna to go to colors. Uh, this is a light design, a white design. So it will look good on um, dark color t-shirts or sweatshirts. So I'm just gonna select a few. Uh, maybe we'll go black, navy, and maroon. And we won't do, we won't overcomplicate it. We'll just leave it as those three. Next, we're gonna go down here under mockups and we want to add additional mockups. So I'm gonna click this add mockup button and this will pull up our library of only our mockups for the Bella 3001 or whatever product you have selected. So I'm just gonna select a few of these. We'll go ahead and use this top one. Um, it's not gonna generate the mockup until you pick a color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select black for this one and now you'll see there is our mockup and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete this generic one. Now I'm gonna add another mock-up. Uh, we'll go ahead and include a male model and we'll just use the navy color here. Some mock-ups take just a moment to generate. Some of them generate in real time like that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and add another one. Uh, let's include another female model here and we'll select maroon this time just so that we have all three of our colors showing. And then I wanna add another mock-up and this time I'm going to include a size chart. And I'll just go ahead and leave that one as the black t-shirt. And then we want to go up and add our multi-product to our listing. So we've got the Bell 3001. All we have to do is click add product here. And then I'm gonna search for Gildan and you'll see Gildan 18,000. It's again a unisex sweatshirt. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now this is extremely important right here. Whenever you select a print partner for one product, it's really important that you use the same print partner for the other product or other products that you're offering on your listing. Because if you, for instance, if we select Swift POD here and our t-shirt was coming from My Designs, but the, the sweatshirt was coming from Swift POD, we would get charged shipping twice from each company. And we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and select My Designs as the provider for our sweatshirt as well. And then we'll go ahead and adjust the print file for the sweatshirt, like we did with the t-shirt. We'll just make it slightly smaller, a little bit of padding percentage. And then once again, it's important to click sync, right click and click sync, just to make sure that we adjust all of them. Um, and this is only if we're working with multiple listings at once. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now we'll leave all of the sizes selected again. Uh, we're gonna just basically select the same colors. There's no maroon for the sweatshirt, so maybe we'll just use red. And then we're going to click add mockup. Now, once again, this is only showing our mockups for our Gildan 18,000. So we'll just go ahead and select once again, a size chart, a female model, a male model, and then uh, maybe one more um, female model here. And then we'll just select the colors. So for the first one, we'll do red. For the male model, we'll do black, navy for this one, and then for this size chart, I'll just leave it as black again. So those are generating again. Once they are generated, I'll just show you a preview of what they look like. And then while that last one generates, oh, there it is. So this is important as well that we 
um, or drag these in the order that we want them to be because this is how it's going to appear on Etsy. So this I do like as our primary mock-up and then we've got the other t-shirts and then the size chart for the t-shirt. Then we've got the sweatshirt mock-ups and then the size chart for the sweatshirt. So I love the order that that's in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next step, which is here, and it's just populate data. Now, we already did this ahead of time before we came to the publishing process. You can do it here if you'd like to as well by just clicking Use Vision AI, selecting all of your listings that you want it to apply to. If you wanted the custom instructions, again, you could do it there. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go to the next step, which is choose prices. Now you'll see on our prices, we've got our Bella 3001 and our Gildan 18,000. So we're going to go ahead and just change this. Let's say we wanted to sell this for $29.98 on these t-shirts. And then we will click apply to all. And you'll see the price updated for all of our options here. Now we'll go to Gildan 18,000. Let's say we want this one to be $39.98 and we'll also just click apply to all again. Now you can also filter between your listings and you can do this in the mock-up section as well by clicking this arrow. You'll see the print file change. We're just going to the other listing. But when we click apply to all, it applied the pricing for all of our listings. So I'll go back to our original. Now I also want to show you that you can change your prefix and suffix if you'd like to. So you can see this one is set to t-shirts and then there's an S or rather small, medium, large. This is where you can change the attributes. If you wanted to, to actually say small, you could type it in there, but I'm not going to change that. Um, you can also do the same thing for your sweatshirt if you select it over here. Uh, this says sweatshirts. Um, I may change it to just say sweatshirt and then leave it like that. Um, but if you want to make any changes to your size prefix and suffix, that's how you would do it there. So I'm going to go to the next step now, which is preview publish info. Now you can see this is just gives us one last preview of what our listing looks like before we publish it. So you can see our title description and our tags and then our price up here. This is where we can change our shop. We only have one connected to Etsy so that's all we have an option for. This is where you can um, map out all of your um, what you need to do with Etsy. So this is a finished product or a supplier tool to make things and then your print partner. We selected my design so that's automatically put in there. It shows our product, sizes, color, if we want to add personalization or we did create a personalized file, we would make sure to select that. But I have a different video that is on personalization. So we can just preview all of our listings really quick. And then um, if we if we like these listings, then all we have to do is go ahead and click publish. But I want to point out one more thing. So let's say that we set up this publishing process or we call it a publishing profile exactly how we want it. So we set it up for t-shirts and sweatshirts. We had all the sizes we wanted to offer and the same colors for, let's say, um, light designs. If we want to save this profile, we can do that by clicking save as profile. And let's say we just named this one Bella 3001 slash sweat or Gildan 18,000 light design. So then we could just go ahead and click save profile. Now, I want to show you what that does because it's really, really powerful um, if we set up a few of these profiles for certain products. So I'm going to just leave the publishing process now, go back to listings, and I'm going to say don't save here um, because we just saved that profile. So now if I want to go up to, let's say I have the, this all set up now. Again, uh, this is new new designs, new lit, or excuse me, all new designs here. All we'd have to do with the new designs is go up to publish and we're gonna to go to my saved profiles. You'll see a bunch of them here. I think this is the one we just saved. You'll see it shows our products, the colors we're offering on those products, the sizes, the price that we have them set at. We can just click load profile. And it may take just a second here, but once it's loaded, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. So it's loading all of your same mockups as you can see your same size chart you had selected, the same colors, the same pricing, everything remains the same. And it's really, really powerful if you just set up a few of these um, ahead of time, and then you, you don't have to go through this process every single time. But anyways, once we get to this point and we uh, like how everything looks, all we have to do is now just click publish. 
And once that'll take about 30 seconds to a minute and then I'll jump over to our Etsy shop and show you what these listings look like there. So we're now over on our Etsy shop and I wanna point out that anything you publish through my designs will always go to your draft folder. So we're gonna click over here to draft and now you'll see here's the um, listings that we just published. The reason we put only push them to draft is because you have to pay that 20 cent listing fee if we were to try and publish it. Um, so everything you publish through my designs will always go there. But let's go ahead and just take a look at one of these listings and make sure everything's right. So you can see this was the primary mockup we had set during the publishing process. Here's our additional um, mockups and you can see we've got our sweatshirt one, size chart, t-shirt and size chart. So that is how easy it is to publish multi-product listings by using my designs. I hope everything made sense in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a like.